you know, I think it's pretty gutsy to kill yourself off in your own movie. But that's not as gutsy as my movie's gonna be. Oh, really? Yep. There's a part where I make out with a dog. Okay. It's gross, I know, but that's how life goes sometimes. You just gotta roll with these things when you're swimming down the river of life. <sighs> you know, Jimmy told me the girl playing this part was cute, but I didn't think he'd look this good. He said that? Yeah, yeah, but I wouldn't get your hopes up, because I think he's gay. And not like when you're looking forward to going out to eat, and then you don't go, and you're like, that's gay! I mean, like, he's a homosexual. Uh, what? <laughs> um, no. Because I know I'm talented and all, but sometimes the way he looks at me suggests that he's impressed by a little more than just my on-screen acting <laughs> abilities. Uh, yeah, can we just not talk about this right now? That'd be great. We can just... So what do you know about the missionary position? What? There's a missionary position opening up in my church. I think I'm going to take it. It's a dangerous job, but so dangerous I second guess my decision to save myself from marriage. So if, if that's something you're interested in, the position that is, I can help you out with that. Yeah, oh, okay. You know, I've been with a woman before. Okay, um, we got the, uh, camera all set up and stuff. We got the soundtrack. Um, so, I think we're ready to do this. Uh, hey, can I just talk to you real quick for a second? Yeah, um, you just want to run through that one more time. Uh, should just be a second and we'll, we'll do this. Um, have you talked to this guy before? Yeah, he's really funny. Funny? Yeah, he's fucking hilarious, Jimmy. Well, look, Allie, he's been doing a really good job. Okay, you know, he, he thinks you're gay. What? Yeah, go figure. Okay, um, how about you just do me a favor and help me finish this? It should just, it's just a few quick shots, there's no dialogue, we'll just get this done, and then you'll never have to talk to him again. Fine, alright, let's just do it. Thank you. Okay, um, alright, this is the scene where the two of you are looking over my character's gravestone. So really, all I need is just a couple of shots of you guys both looking really sad. And there's not going to be any dialogue or anything like that, because there's going to be, you know, this really sad, dramatic music playing. Mm -hmm. um, so, what I, but I want, the way I want you guys to convey your emotion is just through, you know, body language and, like, like facial expressions. Ooh, like a mime! No, not like a mime. Mimes are fucking stupid. Hey, watch the language, bub. There are ladies present. <laughs> I don't fucking care. Well, it's offending me. Okay, um, alright, I won't cuss, I promise. Um, so yeah, are we ready? On your signal. Okay, let me get that. Um, alright, places in. And action. <laughs> okay, cut! Just cut! Uh. No! What? No, not cut! I'm feeling it! Oh, yeah, I'm feeling it! Um. Okay, um. Just try to keep going with it. Um. Let's. Here. Let's just get back in our places and we can try to do this a second time. Matt, you just try to keep to yourself a little bit more, okay? All right. Okay, places. And action. Oh man, you look so hot. Even though you were dancing the lay down dance, my partner, I think if he were here right now, well, he wouldn't be dead for one thing. But he would want us to be together. Because when I look at you, I just feel this presence surging in my throbbing soul. And it just, it just makes me so hard pressed to find the words. Your boobs. Uh, okay, cut. Uh, just, no, cut. Matt, um, cut. you're gonna have to knock it off, man. Uh, 
Oh. So you're going to censor my acting? I was just improvising. Uh, <laughs> maybe just don't improvise with your hands. Improvise with your lips. I, with your mouth. Just, just don't fucking touch me, okay? Yeah. I think she's right. I think we should just stick to the script. Jimmy, are you going to let her talk to me this way? Are you going to let her destroy my vision? Your vision? Yes. I am the star. I am Doris and Balls. No one's going to remember the guy who dies in the second act. Okay, um, Matt. Um, I'm just about sick of your bullshit. Okay? You come in here and you tell me about all the problems with my movie. You tell me how to write. You tell me how to direct. And then, meanwhile, you got your head so far up your ass with all your improvisations that you don't even realize that none of them are funny at all. Okay? And I'll be damned if I'm going to let you come in here, destroy my movie, and then just harass the girl that I am friends with. Okay? So why don't you just pack your shit up and get the fuck out of here? So that's how you're going to play, cowboy? Yeah, that's how we'll play it. Well, you're lucky Jesus loves you. Because me? Not so much right now. Good luck finishing this movie without me. I guess it was just a whole lot of build-up for nothing. So, um, that's it. What do you guys think? I really liked it, but the end of music was fucking lame. Uh, that's... That's just a uh, that's just a temp track, anyways. Um, Micah's band, Garbage Kills Bears. You may or oh, may yeah. not have. Okay, um, he's gonna send me their new track tonight, and then that's what I'm gonna use actually on the end. So this will be different tonight. It's cool. I mean, <clears throat> I was worried there for a while that we weren't gonna get finished when Matt quit, but and he he came back like five minutes later, and he was crying. Yeah, he kept mumbling something about just wanting people to like him. Pussy. <laughs> Anyways, um, I, like I said, that's it. Um, I'm going to make the final DVD tonight, and then I'm going to march it down the South Hall, and I'm going to shove this thing right up Jim Davis's ass. Yeah, uh, this DVD is not working my computer. Do you have a regular DVD player? No, not in my office. Can we get one from Tech Services? No. Why not? It's too hard. Especially this time of the morning. Well, so then, what does this mean? Well, if I cannot get this to work, then you will fail the course. The final assignment's worth 70% of your final grade. But I can go back to my room and get another DVD. I've got like four copies. I'm supposed to show it at the union tonight. You the could... project was due at the second meeting. I've said that a hundred times. You never said that. Yeah, but I thought it every day. So what, then I gotta take the class next semester again? Well, we don't offer again until next spring. Actually, I'm not sure if we're gonna have one next year at all. You, uh, you film majors come in in kind of weird cycles. But this is a prerequisite for, like, every other class in the major. Hey, the school's got a great five-year program. <sighs> oh, and I gave some, uh, thought to your independent study thing. It actually sounds like one of the classes we offer already, but much more in-depth. You'd probably have a lot more to show for it since you're doing it all yourself. And that's admirable. So, so then I can, I can do it? No. It's not on film. But what was all that shit you said about how the medium wasn't important? It was all about the content and how you yeah, work? Yeah, but it has to be on film or you don't get credit. And on film, you're looking at a $20,000 project. I mean, if you got 20 Gs, then I'm down with it. You know I don't have anywhere near that kind of money. Actually, you could try taking it to telecommunications. I'm sure there'd be a ton of red tape and paperwork, but maybe they'd give you one credit hour or something like that. Though it wouldn't really count for anything in your major. And that's if you're just really desperate to get some sort of credit for this... series. Is that it? Well, it was a pleasure having you in my class, and I'm glad we got to know each other so well. All right. You can go. Dude, fuck this! What are you playing? God of War 2? It's fucking lame, man. Uh, I can't decapitate the Cyclops fast enough. 
Oh, um, I already beat this part. Uh, you're not supposed to decapitate it, you gotta pull its eye out. Really? Yeah, it's Cyclops, it's kind of their weakness. Yeah, fuck it, man. Uh, so, how'd your meeting go? Uh, um, it was awful. Yeah, it was really bad. Um, I think it's pretty safe to say that it was the worst meeting that I've ever gone to. And, uh, I actually might have to stay in college another year. Because of this asshole professor. Well, fuck it. I mean, don't worry about it. I guess that's really all I can do. I showed up there, and the meeting was going fine, and then I went to put the DVD in, and the DVD didn't work. So, which just makes me worry about tonight. You know, oh. at, the, at the premiere. Oh, yeah. What, what time is that? Seven. Shit, man. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to go. Why? I mean, it's been fun shooting with you and all, and I'm sure everything will turn out fine, but honestly, it's really not that important to me. Plus, I'd probably fall asleep if I had to watch it again. It's only 12 minutes long. I'm into power naps. Okay, uh, don't worry about it. It's alright. Hey, um, Allie left a note. She's not going to be able to make it. Is she going to, like, a party with you or something, or...? No. No. She said she wants to eat with you or something, for you to meet her in the same spot where you usually meet the union. Okay. Cheer up, man. I'm sure everything will turn out fine. So what is it you wanted to do tonight? <laughs> okay. Hold on one second. Hey, you're Jimmy, right? Well, you don't really know me, but I'm Allie's friend Kate. Okay. Well, fuck you too. Your writing sucks anyway. <sighs> anyway, sorry about that. People are so rude sometimes. Hey. Hey. How's your day? Uh, um, uh, I think I've given up. <laughs> Let's just go eat. No, Allie, um, I'm being serious. Um, I, I don't want to be here anymore. Okay, so let me get this straight. Are you going to kill yourself or drop out of school? What do you want me to do? Come on. I mean, last week you were saying how excited you were to do that movie and the TV show and all that stuff. I... But that's just it. I mean, stuff that I actually want to do always falls through. Honestly, I don't know if I want to do that stuff anymore anyways. <laughs> this whole thing is just total bullshit. The whole process. And I love it when people talk about how, you know, college is the greatest time of your life. I mean, my friends say it, my parents say it, my grandparents say it. It's just, it's completely ridiculous. And then there's the other one about how, you know, college is where you find yourself. And um, I don't know of uh, anybody who has needed some classes on population ecology and microeconomics to be able to say that they've found themselves. I mean, do you honestly believe that anybody who's done anything worth a damn can make that claim? It's just... I don't understand what the big deal is about college or, or, or the stigma that is about people who don't go. You know, I mean, okay, so... Some people don't go to college. What are they really missing out on? So, what then? What are you going to do? Well, that's the thing. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'd really like to keep doing the movie stuff. 
you know, if I can for the rest of my life, if that's possible. But I, I guess I could go to a different school, but that probably wouldn't change anything. Um, or I could just drop out and get a job and try to do the movie stuff on the side. But I don't know. And this whole girl situation is really pissing me off too. But, you know, I, I'm pretty sure that eventually that'll work itself out. I guess the part that I'm having trouble with is the fact that I'm just completely miserable, but according to everybody I know, it's all downhill from here. And I mean, if that's the truth, then I'm so fucked. I, so, you know, I, I don't know. And the other thing is that if I drop out now, it doesn't really make sense because I'm about halfway through all the required shit that I gotta do to graduate. So, uh, basically, all I'd be doing is completely undoing everything that I've accomplished here. Um, so, but you know what, I mean, at the same time, fuck that. You know, fuck undergraduate scheduling and, and gen ed courses. I mean, fuck all of that. Okay, well, I don't know if I can top that. Um, I mean, you make some good points, but, Jimmy, I think you're missing one really important thing. You never go against your goals. I mean, so you're not the most popular guy, and you don't go out and party all the time, and you shoot with your camera thing instead of the shit they have here. And you know why? You have never been under the illusion that you have to compromise yourself for the approval of others. You've never taken the easy way out or just fucking gone along with the crowd on anything. And that is more meaningful than anything you're going to learn in some shit class with some biased professor. Okay, um, but the bottom line is there's nothing for me here. There's not one reason that I should stay. Do you know what Jim Henson once said? Who? Jim Henson, the fucking Muppet. No, Allie, I don't. What did Jim Henson say? He said, I love my work. I've got a terrific group of people who work with me. It's a good life. Enjoy it. Upside down. Hey, Stefan, this is Jim. Uh, can you pass this on to the head of the department? I think we have our entry for the Student Academy Awards this year. Oh, and I'm going to quit my job. I've decided I'm going to start production on a feature film based on my experiences teaching this shithole. See you later.